welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Chris Symmetry. You are in Kristen's kitchen cooking with Kristen. Thank you so much for coming back again. So today's video is gonna be fun and simple. We're just gonna do a low carb pizza. Super excited as, as usual about this video because I wanna bring you just ideas to kind of get the foods that you enjoy, but just not as many calories or as many carbs, you know? So we're gonna get right to it. This is the fat head recipe. So all you're gonna need is one egg, mozzarella shredded, three fourths cup almond flour, two tablespoons of cream cheese. And that is the dough that we're gonna make. And then I'll um, talk about the ingredients for the sauce. Um, well, yeah, for the pizza part, but the ingredients for the dough are just those four things. So first we're gonna add um, only two cups, and I'm sorry, did I say, it should have been three and a half cups of shredded mozzarella, but you take out two cups to put into a microwave safe bowl, and you drop that in there, and then plop in your cream cheese, yes, like so, and you're gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Quick, let's talk about this sauce. I use Rayo's homemade um, marinara sauce. I like it because it's like, it's not sugar free, but it's only 100 calories, and it really only has about one, two, three, about six ingredients. So I love it because it's pretty clean for a sauce, nothing else too much added to it. So I'm gonna use some tomato sauce or marinara sauce, a little garlic powder, a little pepper, and a little of the uh, Italian seasoning, all right? And I also got uncured um, pepperoni. I'm just gonna do a pepperoni pizza. I like to get uncured because that means there's no sugar in it, okay? So again, if you're doing keto or low carb, you wanna watch the sugar, because sugar usually spikes your insulin levels, and then it takes too much to process the food. I won't get into all that. Anyway, all right, three, two, one. Ooh, it's bubbling. So it looks like this, if you can see that, you wanna stir it until all the cheese is melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir it. And I'll put it back in the microwave for about 30 more seconds because I need this to be more, um, I need it to be a little smoother than that, all right? So 30 more seconds, basically that big blob of cheese that you end up having at the end of this. All right, see, melted cheese. All right, let's start in. Let's start in the egg. That egg in there, like so. And I'm gonna shake in this almond flour. And you wanna kinda move pretty fast because you don't want the cheese to um, congeal and get all tight on you. But you basically, oh, I'm spraying the counter with, uh, with uh, flour. But you wanna get it all incorporated because you wanna create a big ball of dough. You also need parchment paper. Parchment paper is great because it won't stick to the food. So that's good. So now I get two sheets of parchment paper. Drop that dough in there, like so. You see? All right. We put the second sheet on here. Sorry if that's kind of loud, guys. And we're gonna roll this out to about um, 12 inch in diameter. Take it and leave it on the parchment paper, but slide it over to my pan. So 
So you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 425, like I've already done, because this process only takes about 30 minutes, so it's not gonna take long. So now that I got my parchment paper um, and my um, dough all in the paper, we're looking good. This is pretty awesome. 10 minutes, 425. All right guys, so we have some pizza dough here. So now the fun part begins. This is a great activity for family time with the kids and everyone can add whatever topping they want. So I just put one third cup of um, the Rails homemade marinara and we'll go ahead and spread that out. Again, because it's not, you know, uh, real flour dough, it's not really gonna soak up a lot of juice. So you don't wanna make it really wet, okay? Very important to not make it too. Now cheese, please. And we'll go ahead and just, you know, have some. Up, we used to have um, Friday night with pizza night. So it's Friday when I'm making this video. So it's very comforting because I feel like I'm back home. And I had pepperoni. The pepperoni was whole like this, but I went ahead and cut it in half, just like so. Okay. Now, this goes back in the oven for 10 more minutes, and then you're gonna let it cool for five minutes, and then it'll be time to eat. So I know we're excited about that part, okay? Comments below if you're going to try this recipe because I think you might like it. It's probably been two minutes, right? What do you think? I think it's been two minutes. I think two minutes is good enough. I'm gonna transfer this onto my board and I'm going to cut this because I'm going to eat some so that you all can get going and you can try it yourself. All right, let's go. All right. Drop in the comments below your favorite pizza place. And then I'm gonna tell you to do it yourself because this pizza right here, and I feel like guiltless because it's so low carb. This pizza right here, I did everything. I did that perfectly. This is the second time I've tried this recipe. This is perfect, okay? Don't deviate. Make sure you flip it to get the crusty, the crust, okay? Make sure you flip it. All right, so I'm gonna continue to enjoy my food, but you guys, do me a favor. Just go ahead and drop some comments below and go ahead and like and subscribe. Come on over to the family. Chris and Mitri, living life in balance. We love to eat, we love to work out, we love to do makeup, we love to wear wigs, we love to do it all, okay? so. I have nothing else to say because this pizza has me mesmerized. So until we meet again, I will talk to you soon.